Look at the front where it says Ames real big. All right, so we're in Reynoldsburg, Ohio, and we're at the old shopping center here where I did the Target Greatland, and I told you guys I would do a video at this place too. This was a hometown buffet, and originally when we were here, I wasn't sure what it was. I didn't know, but we're back here. It looks like they cleaned this place up, but we'll still check it out for you anyway. What the heck? Yeah, there it is. There's your hometown buffet here at that infamous shopping center that has the Target Greatland that's abandoned. And as a matter of fact, I know it's off topic, but here's the sign for the Target. It just says Target Center on that sign. I know it's hard to see with the trees. <laughs> yeah, so as we walk up to the doors, I mean, this place got tagged pretty bad, which is a shame. Dirty, too. See people trying to break the windows. I don't know why that's necessary. Got goof off. Because they are really trying to clean it up. Yeah, hometown buffet. That says it right there. The location has permanently closed. I don't know when this closed. I just know when we were here the last time, this place was in pretty bad shape. It was tagged pretty badly. I mean, it was, it was, yeah, that was graffiti move or goof off. <laughs> Yeah, it was tagged pretty badly. Wow, look at that in there. It's it's moldy as hell. That wall back there is gross. Unless they had pictures up back there and they came down. I don't know. That looks nasty in there. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't want to eat in there. But yeah, this, uh, this place was full of garbage all over here. It almost looked like someone had been camping out here. Like, you know, like maybe a homeless person, unfortunately, and I'm not judging, I'm not saying anything, but it's quite possible. And now you have that dumpster there. I'm guessing they threw all that stuff in to clean it up. Yeah, that's pretty uh, roughed up back there. That Oh, I see. Those are paintings. Those are drawings. I thought it was mold, especially over there. I couldn't make it out with the naked eye or on camera, but now in this window, I get a much better idea still looks gross i mean look at the floor <laughs> i mean i'm sure this has been closed for years at least one since our first visit was in may of 2020 anyway so but i didn't know that it had all of that even the uh things over the windows are moldy i can't think of what they're called because i'm having a brain fart <laughs> Kayla's uh, doing her thing, taking some pictures. Anyway, hey, look, got some goose friends over there. What's up, buddies? I'll leave you alone. Just chilling. <laughs> yeah, but more graffiti, which is unnecessary. Unfortunately, people feel the need to do that. It's another angle of the inside. Pretty grody. <laughs> But wasn't that how these were when they were open? Yikes, shots fired. I'm just being silly, guys. I'm just teasing, trying to get you guys to laugh a little bit. But, yeah, it's pretty bad. Nothing that some good TLC couldn't fix up, though. Uh, well, well, we might be able to see in through this door a little bit. Really nothing to see, though. Especially with that door being open on the inside. But, yeah, guys, the graffiti is unnecessary. Big open parking lot, overgrown with weeds, and during the summer months, I imagine it's uh, like a forest in here. <laughs> oh, that wind is cold. You know, like somebody had to break that window out, so they put like a piece of tin in there. Looks like they screwed it to the door. <laughs> yeah, there's really nothing to see on this side, though. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. I'm trying to do as much content as I possibly can every time we go out. We're always going out and doing things, and uh, even when the Z needs a little 
repair. I mean, I expect it. It's an old car. It's uh, 22 years old. It's going to have things break over time. But, man, that thing has been so reliable. So I don't even care. I just said, you know what, I'll spend the money, get a rental. It cost a little bit. But I wanted to still come out here instead of sitting at home or working on the car on the weekend when I can do it after work on a weekday. And I figured I'd come out here and still put videos together with you guys. And uh, Kayla, <laughs> it's funny, she's back in the car. And as I'm telling you this, I saw a text message come across my screen from her telling me of the address of another abandoned place for us to go check out. So she's always helping out. She's the best. Let's take a peek in the garbage area real quick. I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll take a peek anyway. What the heck? You know, just look over the gates. Oh, there's the generator. The electric is still on. Here's probably where the dumpsters were. And these areas here. I'm too short. I'm too short to peek in there, but I can do this. <laughs> I can't see anything, though. I don't know what you guys see. <laughs> peek in there anything because I can't see <laughs> probably nothing but yep that's that <laughs> hometown buffet I know very few of these remain also on another note I don't remember that being covered I mean maybe it was but I don't remember that being covered with a tarp the target sign down there, the one way down on yonder, that one's still uncovered. But this one is. But yeah, there's your trailer with the stuff. There's a half of a shopping cart in there. So, yeah, they're cleaning it up. So I guess that'll wrap it up then for here. Okay, I want to get back in the car. It's pretty cold. <laughs> I'm just wearing a hoodie, too. It's not too bad. The sun feels good, but when that wind blows, man, it's cold. It's winter, <laughs> even though it's early March when I'm filming this. So, all right, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a Kmart. Let's just stay on Kayla's behalf. We'll talk to you later. Bye, everyone. Oh, excuse me. This is uh, not what I what I ordered. It is what you ordered. Oh, no, no, it's not. Yes, yes, it is. I don't think so. I think so. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. At Hometown Buffet, you're never disappointed with an order because you don't order. You just choose. Whether it's something tender, hearty, or crisp, what you see will be exactly as good as what you get. That's what I ordered. That's what that is. No. Yes. Hometown Buffet. Great choice.